after we've started the project, we've got an actual sheet. And when we start making changes to the actual sheet, uh, to start dates or the work duration um, for the number of days for a task that it was supposed to start on a certain day, it was supposed to take a certain number of days. But when we start making changes to those things, what happens? And um, we, we now have a baseline versus actual section. So all the details are coming up now. Any changes that after the project has been started in the main sheet um, all have to be done in the actual sheet. So your baseline becomes locked and anytime you'll try and change something or let's say I try and change the values here, I'm going to get an error saying, you know, heads up, um, you shouldn't be changing that. So you need to make sure that you don't make those changes. Um, and um, uh, so that uh, so that you have a baseline to compare um, your actual sheet with. Now this is where, this is what we had planned uh, when we started everything. So let's go into our subsheet. This is another team working on this thing. So currently, uh, because before the project started, we, have, we were at 60% or something like that. So let's just change that to 100% and mark this whole task as completed. So there were four tasks and this is all completed uh, in here. And now if I go uh, into this section and go into Lingat, and I'm just looking at updating the, the sub lead GAN one sheet. So if I click on update, you'll see that the dates, uh, if I'd made changes to the dates and the percentage for the task that was completed, all of that will get updated in this section right here. And there we go. So we've got this as 100% uh, completed. So we know um, that this is going uh, this is going fine. So uh, this team can continue doing making their changes and running projects through the sub lead GAN. And, um, uh, and if if sub lead GAN one is always updated, all you have to do is update this. Now you can run your own project over here for example if something was supposed to take 10 days but it actually uh, ended up taking 25 days or something was supposed to take five days but it ended up taking 10 days and we know that instead of starting on 16th of november it actually ended up starting on the 20th so all of these uh, all of these things happened um, uh, in that sheet so all i have to do is click on uh, refresh again and um, it will tell me what are the details, um, uh, what, what is my variance, what is my end variance. So, so all these details uh, will, get, uh, will start getting calculated uh, to tell me where I should be and where um, I am tracking as of now in the project. Now you see the little dotted lines. These dotted lines basically tell me that we had planned in our baseline for this project to start on on 1st of November uh, this is 1st of December and end around 6th of December but instead the pro the projects actually started over here so this is this is where the the delay and the five day delay which is five business day delayed um, shows up so these are the things that you have to care. Uh, you have to keep in mind so that it shows you that for this line, the project was scheduled to start. Now, what happened here was because we made changes to one date, everything else that was dependent upon the dates in the section here, they started updating uh, right at the bottom all the way through uh, um, till the end as well. So this is. Um, this is lead gant it has uh, almost everything that you're looking for um, and more um, and um, it is an imperfectly perfect cat i'll see you in another video